Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is the another most important scenario based Power BI interview question that has been asked by the interviewer of the Infosys during the recruitment process of Power BI developer job role. Okay, so as you can see here, the question is how to use the DAX functions to create a calendar table that source shows the year, quarter and month for the financial year or we can say for the physical year that will start from the April and end in, in the month of March right because in most of the case whenever we are creating a calendar table in power bi at that time the financial year start from the month of january and end at the month of december right but our requirement is we have to create a calendar table where the financial year will start from the month of april and end in the month of march right so let's see how we can do this but before that let me tell you here i have already imported one table called as the orders details table and if you want to see the data just click on this table view and here you can see in this orders details table it contains three column one is the date column next is the unit column and third one is the price column okay so these are the three columns that is present inside this orders details table all right so now our requirement is we have to create another table that is called as the calendar table where the financial year should be start from the month of April and end at the month of March. Okay. So for that, what you have to do? First of all, you have to click on this table view. All right. And inside this table view, in the table tools, we have the options called as the new table. Right. So just click on this new table tab first. Then go to the description sections of this video. And over there, you can get this particular code. Okay. So just copy this entire code from here. All right back pressing control plus t and here just remove this part and paste it over here all right then click enter and now here you can see we have successfully created one table that is called as the date table right and this is the dex functions or we can say the logic that i have written to create this date table okay so let me explain what i have written here okay so first as you can see first we have created one variable that is called as the month div okay and inside this month div variable i have passed the value as the minus three why i have passed the minus three because basically whenever we will create a calendar table and in that case we start the financial year from the month of january right but in this case as per our requirement we have to start the financial year from april right so we have to deduct minus 3 because we have to remove the January, February and March, right? And we will assume the financial year will start from the April, right? So to take the first month as the April, we have to remove January, February and March, right? That's why here we have passed the value as the minus 3 to this month deep variable, okay? Then we have written the return keywords, right? And inside this return keyword, we have taken another DAX functions that is called as the add columns. All right. So what does this add columns functions do? This add column functions basically is used to return a table with new columns specified by the DAX expression. And this DAX functions usually take three argument that is table name, then name of the column that you want to add, and then the expression part. All right. So to get the table name here we have used the calendar dex functions so what does this calendar dex functions do this will create one table that is called as the calendar and it will take the minimum value from the date column of this orders details table and maximum value from the date column of this orders details table here you can see this is the orders detail table that we have already previously uploaded into this power bi desktop environment and here it is contained one column that is called as the date right so from this date column we will extract the minimum value and we will extract the maximum value and based upon that we have created one table that is called as the calendar table okay because usually calendar table take two argument one is the start date and next one is the end date right so minimum date of this orders details table is the start date and maximum value of the date column of this orders detail table is the end date right so based upon this start date and the end date it has created one calendar table okay so this is the table part all right then the second argument is the new column name okay whatever column name you want to create you have to mention one by one over here all right 
then last one is the expression so this one is the expression part all right so these are the three things that this add column dex functions will take as the argument all right first one is the table name so this is the table name it means calendar dex functions will create one table then these are the name that we want to create okay these are the financial year name here you can see this is the financial month name this is financial month name this is a calendar month this is a calendar month then this is the financial quarter number calendar quarter financial year calendar year display financial year these are all those columns okay it means whatever column we want to create those column we will write over here the next one is the argument this is the argument thing so here you do not need to do anything okay only thing you have to change is here you have to change the table name okay my table name that i have already imported is called as the orders details table and inside this we have the date column right so in your scenario what whatever table that you have imported okay which should contain the date column that date column you have to pass over here and here you have to change the table name only these things and here also you have to change the table name and you have to pass the column name which contain the date type of data right that's it only these two things you need to change otherwise you do not need to change anything on this particular logic okay apart from this you do not need to do anything okay here you will you have to keep this uh, text functions as it is like month e date okay here you have used the quarter then e date and here you have used the year and e date okay so you do not need to change anything only thing you have to change is this the table name that you have imported and the here you have to pass the column name which should contain the date type of data and likewise here also you have to change the table name that you have imported and in place of this date column you have to pass the column name which should contain the date type of data okay so by using this code we have successfully created one table that is called as the date table so let me show you the output so now as you can see here this date table contain total eight number of columns first one is the date column which is coming from the date column of this orders details table okay next one is the financial month number or we can say physical month number okay so this is our requirement the next one is the calendar month all right then financial quarter number then calendar quarter financial year and calendar year okay and at the end we are showing the displaying financial year okay where we are getting the value like 2023 to 2024 or from 2022 to 2023 okay so in this way we can easily create a date table in power bi all right by writing this particular code all right then the next step is what you have to do you have to go to the data modeling section okay and here you can see so we have successfully created this date table in this particular data modeling part as well and this orders table has already been uploaded previously right so now our next step is we have to create the relationship between the orders details table and the date table by the help of this date column here you can see in this orders detail table we have the date column and in date table also we have a date column right so now we have to create the relationship between these two table by using the date column got it and then hide this date column from this orders details table okay so that we will not confuse between this date and this date column because at the end we will use this particular date column in our reporting purpose got it and then now let's go to the report view and here we will create one table now if i want to show it in financial year wise total unit sold all right then what we will do we can just drag this display financial year column okay and then we will drag this unit column into this column section okay so in the financial year 2022 and 23 we have sold total 63 quantity likewise in 23 24 we have sold 190 unit and in 2024 and 25 we have till year we have sold 60 number of unit okay so in this way we can easily create a date table where the financial year will be start from the april and end at the month of march got it so thanks for watching take care bye bye